Welcome to our channel Digital Education. Here in this video we are discussing some questions about forest and wildlife for beat forest officer examination. If you like this video please like share and subscribe for more videos. If you have any suggestions please post a comment. Here we have categorized the questions into four subjects biodiversity, forest, policies and organizations related to forest and wildlife and biology and we will be discussing five questions for each subject. Moving on to the first subject biodiversity. Biodiversity is also called as biological diversity. It is a variety of living beings on earth. Let's see the questions related to biodiversity. First question. Who is called the father of biodiversity? Edward Osborne Wilson. He is called as the father of biodiversity. He is an American biologist also called as the father of sociobiology. Next question. Which type of biodiversity deals with ecosystem and the answer is ecological diversity. Ecological diversity deals with ecosystem levels of biodiversity. There are three types of biodiversity genetic, species and ecological. Examples for ecological diversity are deserts, grasslands, wetlands. Okay, the next question. Which one of the following is not included under in situ cons conservation? National parks, botanical gardens, wildlife sanctuary, biosphere reserve. And the answer is botanical gardens. Okay, now let's see what is in situ conservation. Actually, in situ conservation means on site conservation, that is, conservation of species in their natural surroundings. Moving to the next question Which one of the following is not included under ex situ conservation? Options sacred groves, seed banks tissue culture and zoo and answer is secret grooves. So ex situ conservation is actually an approach to protect threatened and endangered species. It also means like offsite conservation. So in this options actually sacred grooves is actually falling under the in situ conservation category. All the other options are coming under the ex situ conservation. Okay, moving on to the last question. International Day for Diver Biodiversity. International Day for Biodiversity is observed on May 22nd since 2000. Before that, December 29th was observed as the International Day for Biodiversity. So, International Day for Biodiversity is now observed on May 22. So, these are the five questions related to biodiversity. Now, let us move to the next subject, forest. First question. Which forests are called the lungs of our planet? And the answer is Amazon forest. It is actually the world's largest rainforest and it is part of South America. So lungs of our planet is Amazon forest. Next question. Pichavaram mangroves is located in which state? Answer is Tamil Nadu. It is the second largest mangrove forest in the world. Pichavaram mangroves, Tamil Nadu.
Third question. What type of forests are known as evergreen forest? Answer is tropical rainforest. They appear green throughout the year and that is the main reason why it is called as evergreen forest. Evergreen forest is tropical rainforest. Next question. Silva is a Latin word meaning what? An answer is forest. So silva actually means forest. Related term is silviculture which we had already discussed in our previous video. Silva forest. Next question. Which year was de declared as the International Year of Forest? Answer 2011. 2011 International Year of Forest. Okay, now we are going into our third subject policies and organizations. So here comes the questions for this subject. First question, expand JFM. JFM actually stands for Joint Forest Management. In 1980, Government of India had introduced JFM to conserve forest. So JFM expansion is Joint Forest Management. Next question, where is Central Agroforestry Research Institute located? And the answer is Jansi. It was established on 8th May 1988. So Central Agroforestry Research Institute is located at Jansi. Next. Lulu CF is related to Kyoto Protocol. Lulu CF stands for Land Use, Land Use Change and Forestry. It is mainly meant for greenhouse gas emission control. Lulu CF, Kyoto Protocol. Lulu CF related to Kyoto Protocol. Fourth question. Wildlife Protection Society of India was founded by whom? Answer is Belinda Wright. She is a wildlife conservationist in India. Wildlife Protection Society was founded in 1994 by Belinda Wright. Okay, the last question. Environment Protection Act 1986 comes under which article of the Indian Constitution? Answer is Article 253. The Environment Act was enacted by Indian Parliament under Article 253 of the Constitution of India in the year 1986. Article 253. Okay, so now let us move to the last subject which is Biology. Let's see the questions. Question 1. Operation Kachapa related with Operation Kachapa related with conservation of olive ridley turtle. It was actually launched in Odisha in the year 1998. Operation Kachapa Conservation of olive ridley turtle. Next question. Scientific name of Malabar Civet. Answer is Vivera Civetina. It is listed as critically endangered by IUCN. It is an endemic species to Western Guts. Vivera Civetina. Malabar Civet. Third question. In biology, a sudden heritable change is known as what? Answer, mutation. A mutation is a change that occurs in our DNA sequence. Next question. 
The oxygen liberated during photosynthesis comes from what molecule? Answer is water. Plants make food using a process called photosynthesis. During this time, plants release oxygen and that oxygen actually comes from water. So, the oxygen liberated during photosynthesis comes from water. To the last question now. Sulfur shower is related with what? Answer is pine trees. Sulfur showers means showers of yellow pollen resembling sulfur in appearance and it is often carried from pine forest by the wind to a great distance. So, sulfur shower is related with pine trees. So, these are the subject wise questions. Thanks for watching.